Okay guys, so this first clip here is our hotel just outside of the hotel. Um, as I'm lifting up here, you can kind of see off to the distance, that's the Rocky Mountains and some other hotels there in the distance here. Um, over to the left there, you'll kind of see a lake as I kind of pan around a little bit. And that's just a piece of Estes Lake there in town. It's a really beautiful lake. And you'll kind of see here, this is a US 36 that goes up and through the mountains. If you follow that down, um, that'll go back down into Lyons and then Longmont. And there's another freeway that comes through Estes, which is Highway 34, which goes through Loveland, Colorado, a couple different ways. This is our hotel, kind of just panning around. That yellow and brownish looking building that was uh, it's called an arc we didn't get a chance to go in there uh, and check it out but maybe the next time we go on a trip we will actually get to go there and actually check it out so as you can see it's a really absolutely just a beautiful 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 area this next clip this is uh, actually Estes uh, Valley Golf Course and I'm right actually up next to the lake and you'll see off to the left here, I'll kind of pound around a little bit. You can see there was a lot of people walking around on the lake. It was a weekend, so I had to be really super careful. Um, also in this area, there's a lot of wild elk that like to walk around. So I had to be really super careful. Um, I did talk to the Estes Park Police Department and they just asked that I you know, stay away from people, um, try not to disturb the wildlife as much as possible. Um, but you can see it's a it's a pretty nice sized lake. There's a little sandbar there in the middle um, But absolutely beautiful beautiful area um, Now you'll notice I wasn't doing a whole lot of moving around um, with the actual copter and the reason for that is If you guys don't already know in a higher elevation the air is a lot thinner which in turn makes the props and the motors have to spin harder to keep the quadcopter up in the air. So that normal 20 to 25 minute flight time that I normally get um, is diminished quite a bit. It goes down to about uh, 15, 20 minutes. This next clip here, guys, you're gonna see, this is actually the, the Shining Hotel or the Stanley. Um, unfortunately, I tried to get permission from the hotel to fly over the hotel. I wanted to really spotlight it for you guys, but um, they wouldn't allow it. So I had to go to a public area instead of their private property over there um, and do just a real quick uh, flight up and down. Um, in the background, you can kind of see there's a mountain that kind of looks like two little humps. Um, that's Twin Owls Peak over there. And that's just the, uh, the Stanley Hotel there in the background. Beautiful hotel. I wish I could have gotten closer. Um, maybe I can talk to them next time and I can get you know you guys some some better footage of the uh, the actual hotel because it's it's actually a really really cool hotel um, I think they just need a little bit of learning about uh, drones and drone photography and things of that nature because they just they didn't seem very friendly the the town was fine with it it was just a hotel for some strange reason um, they didn't want me to fly the drone anywhere near the hotel so I stayed away from the hotel this next clip here, you'll see our car in the distance there, and I'm gonna go ahead and turn around here. So, it's kind of hard to see. It was really bright, as you can tell, and I was using the polarized uh, lens on the actual camera. Uh, but over, as you can see, I'm gonna kind of send the Phantom over a little ways here. You can kind of see in the middle there, up on the top, it looks almost like a chimney stack, and I'm trying to send the Phantom Again, we're at really high elevations, so it's really hard to get the Phantom to perform the way that you really want it to. So I was trying. Also, you can see down on that trail there as I'm moving the Phantom closer over there. Um, you'll see them kind of come in the picture down below. But there's some people that were hiking that trail around the mountain, and I didn't want to upset them or get in their way. So I wanted them to enjoy their trip as much as I did as well. So I decided to keep the Phantom at a distance. Um, but you can kind of see here as we kind of 
it a little bit closer. I'm trying to get up as, as high as I can. That building down there actually in the corner is the Estes Park uh, Police Department. <laughs> so that's where the uh, cops are. So uh, just one more reason to be uh, really, really safe. But you can kind of see it now. It's kind of coming into focus. I'm trying to get the copter up. But these are called the uh, the ruins. These are kind of like the original settlers of the town of Estes. They built this um, cool cabin out of stone and everything like that. You can see it there just a little bit. Um, and they were one of the, some of the founders of the town. Uh, there's just kind of like the town square, uh, more of the Rocky Mountain National Park there out in the, the distance. Uh, again, I, you know, you guys already know you're not allowed to fly in um, national parks. So Rocky Mountain National Park was uh, definitely off limits uh, 100%, so, which was okay. Not, uh, not a big deal for me. So this next little spot here, I'm going to bring the drone down. And you guys will see um, that I'm kind of trying to bring it over to this. It's just a makeshift little cabin. I think it's a reproduction of just one of the cabins in Estes. I thought it was kind of cool. I was trying to get in there, but there was people walking on the uh, the trail. You can kind of see them here as I pan around. Um, you can say I see them there in that shadow where the river is. Um, so I didn't want to scare them or anything like that. And then again, kind of in the center of the picture here, you can see the twin owls. Uh, peak there. It, it's really hard to focus because it's pretty far away, but it's that little tiny little mountain range And if you get up really close to that mountain, it kind of looks like two owls 